Let's hear from Mark now with the sport. Good to have you, Mark, and the Ashes is over. Yes, and what a dramatic final day of the Ashes series. And Johnny, Yorkshire's Johnny Bairstow played a huge part. Bairstow, who's from Bradford, reacted expertly, diving to his right to catch Mitchell Marsh out one-handed. It follows a criticism of Bairstow's wicket-keeping earlier in the series. And a few moments ago, he took the catch to secure a 49-run victory for England against Australia to level the series to all. In Super League, bottom of the table, Wakefield Trinity thrashed Warrington Wolves. The star man was Loney Innes Sr. His four-try haul helped Wakey boost their survival, their Super League survival hopes. Uh, Trinity were 22 0 up at half time and ended up winning it a whopping 42 6. It's a fourth straight home win for Wakefield, which moves them level on points with Castleford at the bottom of the Super League table. Four tries, I, I can't believe it. It's absolutely buzzing, one of the best games I've played in. And, you know, com coming back, this, this team's always always been there for me when I've, you know, I've been struggling for game time and stuff. It's, it's my fourth time here, so. You know, they're always a team that have, have come and picked me up when I've been low on confidence and yeah, I'm very thankful to, to the club. Really good performance team-wise. Um, we trained real good all week and um, I, I honestly, we're a good team. I know the points don't show where we are, but that, that's how we train. Everyone's stuck together and, and we knew it had come at some point. Um, it's really important now though that we keep, keep that humbleness about us and we realise what's been working for us and we don't get too ahead of ourselves. And you can watch highlights of all of the action on the Super League show tonight at 11.25 on BBC One or on the iPlayer from 7 o'clock. Now, a Leeds United fan and campaigner has welcomed tougher action on so-called tragedy chanting. The Football League is introducing stadium bans and potential criminal prosecutions for fans who sing offensive songs that reference stadium disasters or deaths. Gareth Senior was with Christopher Loftus and Kevin Spate when they were stabbed to death in Istanbul on the eve of Leeds United's UEFA Cup semi-final against Galatasaray 23 years ago. Tragedy chanting happens at a number of stadiums and sometimes has been aimed at Leeds United fans with shouts of Istanbul. It's a sad indictment on the society that we need to take these steps to stop people behaving in such a manner. I'm a massive advocate of education. There is a Premier League education programme through this to try to get to kids between the age of 9 and 14 through their, through their education programme through schools. Uh, and I think that's the major way that we can stop this kind of thing happening in the future. And Amy, that's the sport. Thank you.